Welcome once again to our channel. We believe in the power of prayer and that God can change any situation because according to the book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 26, it says for with God, all things are possible. Please subscribe to our channel if you are not currently a member of our community and like this video. You are welcome to share this prayer today with as many friends as possible whom you want the Lord to bless and change their situations. There is a special prayer in the book of Psalms that when said with strong belief, can bring blessings and prosperity to someone's financial life. This prayer is called Psalm 23, and it's known as King David's Prayer. Right now, we would like to say this prayer together with you. It's important to say this prayer seven times in a row and do it for seven days in a row to get the best results. This is especially helpful for people who are going through a tough time with their finances and need help right away. We highly recommend fasting for seven hours while saying this prayer. However, fasting is only for those who are able to do it and already know how to fast safely. If you can keep up with this practice, it will be even better because this prayer has the power to bring many blessings to your financial life. Now let's prepare our hearts as we pray together. And may this prayer bring prosperity and blessings to your financial life. Psalm 23 from verse 1 to the end says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake, yeah, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, 
I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness, for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now that we have repeated Psalm 23 seven times, let me pray for you. Our Heavenly Father, who truly cares for me like a shepherd and provides for me, Right now I am here before you, asking for your blessings and anointing so that I may have prosperity and abundance. When I think about the words of Psalm 23 and reflect on them, I feel comforted and filled with hope, because I know that you love me, take care of me, and show me the right path to follow. May blessings and abundance overflow in the life of this person who is praying with me right now, just like green pastures and a cup that is filled to the brim. We ask this in the name of Jesus. I ask you to break every chain and obstacle that has been holding back their growth and progress until now. Dear Lord, I believe that all the blessings mentioned in Psalm 23 are now upon their life. I trust that you are opening the doors they need, providing the answers they seek, and bringing the right people and opportunities into their life's journey from this moment onward. I declare that I am entering a season of supernatural harvest, where I will see your extraordinary power at work in my life, in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Please guide me to green pastures filled with opportunities and open doors. Lead me beside still waters of financial stability and provision. Dear Lord, please restore my soul and fill me with the confidence that you are with me every step of the way. Even when I face financial challenges, I will not be afraid because you are with me. Your guidance and protection bring me comfort. I ask you to remove any feelings of lack, scarcity, and financial struggle from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Prepare a table of blessings for me, even in the presence of those who oppose my financial well-being. Let my cup be filled to overflowing with your blessings. Lord, please anoint my mind with divine wisdom and creativity so that I can make sound financial decisions. Let your favor flow over me like oil, causing doors of opportunity to open and blessings to abound in my life. I am confident that goodness and mercy will be with me every day of my life. I declare that I will experience financial breakthroughs, favor, and divine connections that will chase after me relentlessly. May your goodness and mercy be evident in every aspect of my financial life. 
as I hold on to the promises of Psalm 23. I believe that you are already arranging circumstances and setting up special opportunities for my financial well-being. I hand my worries and anxieties over to you, understanding that you are my ultimate provider. I ask that every spirit of poverty, misery, struggle, difficulty, and scarcity be removed from my life now. Thank you for listening to our prayer, Heavenly Father. We receive your blessings of prosperity and financial assistance with gratitude and faith. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I believe that this is the special time chosen by God for you to prosper and have such abundance that you can even share with your family and friends. As everyone around you joins this prayer, may they be blessed. May heaven cause them to witness the power of this prayer so that they can thank you for sharing it with them. Remember that God desires for you to prosper as he knows that through your prosperity, those around you will also be blessed. I pray that from this moment forward, all your difficulties will turn into testimonies and every obstacle in your path will become a stepping stone toward your success and growth, bringing glory to God. Amen. If you believe in this prayer, say out loud, I believe and glory to God. If it's not possible for you to say it out loud where you are right now, you can write it below in the comments. May the grace of the Lord surround you wherever you go. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Until the next prayer video, God bless you.